ready to make something quick and beautiful? With its ever popular farmhouse style with darling accents, you will love the farmhouse wreath chalk box. Your chalk box comes with the Odette 6x18 inch Couture Boutique board, the B-sized farmhouse wreath transfer, and four chalk singles packets in meadow, sage, candy apple, and black velvet. I've got all my supplies here, plus some little dishes for paste, black velvet, meadow, sage, candy apple, a fuzzing cloth, a couple of squeegees here, a small and a mini, and a multi-tool, and also some transfer trimmers and a marker. And I also have a water bath and paper towels for cleanup. I'll begin by cutting apart my transfer pieces along the cut lines. And then I'll use the marker to mark each backer to correspond with the design. It just makes it easy to clean up later. I'll grab the first half of the word and fuzz it first to pick up a bit of lint to soften the adhesive. I'm using this little notch in the frame to line up the left side and then I'm centering it vertically on the surface. Then I'll prep the second half too, fuzzing and positioning it so that it lines up with the rest of the word. To prep each paste single, just knead the packet a bit before snipping or ripping off the corner. Then I'll take my small squeegee and load it up. I'm smoothing the paste over the screened portion and then scraping off the excess. Then I can peel that up and place them in the water bath to rinse. Now I'm using the twig part of the wreath and positioning it to fill the gap and finish the word. I'll chalk this in meadow, prepped the same way as the black. And I just need a small amount here to chalk this wreath. And then peel up the design. This will definitely need a few minutes to dry before you layer the next part, so be sure it's dry before you proceed. I'll prep this transfer piece by fuzzing it too. Always, always fuzz when layering. It is super important. And then I can line these little berries up. And get my sage paste ready to go too. I'll grab my mini squeegee here and carefully smooth sage paste over the wreath. You don't need a lot of pressure when layering. Really, a soft touch works better. Then I'll peel and wash this element, and we're almost done. Last up is this darling little bird, which you could put anywhere, but I kind of like him near the center over the right leg of the letter M. I'll prep and open my candy apple paste at last, and use my multi-tool to make this bird a really fun pop of color. Super cute and classy, this chalk box puts the farmhouse trend not only within your reach, but steps it up a notch with your own custom design.